paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Not wreck it. <laughs> oh, come on, Shell, just bang them in. Look, Leah, don't just bung things in. Your mother never taught you to look after your clothes. Shell, you're only sorting out a jumble for me car boot sale. Me van's on a double yellow. Oh, look, I'll give you a hand. Oh, no, 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 don't hinder me system. <laughs> OK. What's your system? Well, this bag's rubbish, this bag's jumble, this bag's things to keep. Rubbish, jumble, things to keep. Right, got it. And this pile's rubbish, this pile's jumble, and this pile is things to keep. Rubbish, jumble, things to keep. Got it. And? <laughs> what we do is we put the rubbish in the rubbish bag, <laughs> the jumble in the jumble bag, and the things to keep... In the things to keep bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he learns fast, doesn't he? Give the boy a blue Peter badge. <laughs> right. Rubbish, jumble, things to keep. <laughs> Rubbish, bush, jumble, bang, things to keep. Dun, 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 dun. Rubbish, bush, jumble. Oh, that's my red gold tabby. This is my jumble. Give it back. Mum, tell Lee. You won't give me back my Tammy. Look, Lee. All right, all right. But it'll cost you 50p. I ain't paying 50p for it. Yeah, you're probably right. Call it 25. You can call it anything you like. That's mine. Oh. Now that's oh. rubbish. Smash it's yearbook, 1983. Who'd want to buy this? Yeah, <laughs> shame, guy. <laughs> There's a letter in here. Right, Lee, you said you wanted some milk. Here <laughs> you are. I could just about make it out. The writing's really bad. Dear Jim, can you fix it for me? <laughs> to be in the group Musical Youth. <laughs> As I think they're well lard. No, no, hard. <laughs> I am nine years old and all the other kids in my class say that I've got a better voice than the lead singer. Yours, Sean Pastor Duchy Ambrose. <laughs> Easy. It was a joke, man. Yeah, you're telling me well larder. <laughs> Mum, you can't throw these away. These are my formative years, man. Oh, look. I've had enough. You two sort it out between yourselves, but sort it out by this evening. Otherwise... <laughs> What's that? Smashing, just oh, smashing. Oh, no, don't tell me. The, the kids. kids. You got it. My van, oh. You're right, Tony. My hair. <laughs> Where's Desmond? I oh, sent him running after him. You did what? <laughs> you underestimate this show. He's got the body of a man half his age. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do the other one back. <laughs> that showed them. They won't be back round here in a hurry. Mr. Queer Bob <laughs> I don't want to catch a plane wrong here again. And if you fall long and break your legs, don't come running to me. <laughs> what what do you do to my shop? Uh, Desmond. I mean, you're supposed to go to stand up and stick up with them again. No, Desmond, not now. You're hysterical. You hear me laughing? <laughs> come on, Pops. I mean, everyone's kicked the ball for a window at some time or other. I haven't, have you? Uh, hypothetically speaking. I mean, I'm just going to stand there and take their side after what they don't. Look, Des, it's, it's all right. There's no need to worry. I'm OK. I'm not talking about you, Tony. I'm talking about the shop window. Let's just get this mess cleared up. 
Gloria, Sean, get a broom and sweep up that glass. And be careful. Yeah, Tony, yeah. get somebody to fix the window. Desmond, sit down. OK. All right. <laughs> That's it. All right. I'm going to try explaining this to you one more time. Now, if the council close down the playground because they say they can't afford to make it safe, where else you think the children will have to play? Eh? The streets, the dangerous streets, and that's why I'm on the action group committee. The only danger to the streets is the kids. <laughs> why don't you just open the window like everyone else? <laughs> Well, what would have happened if we'd done this when we were kids? Boy, my father would have licked me. <laughs> your mother, she would have mashed up your backside. And you know what Charlie wants to do? Mash up your backside. <laughs> Give them a new playground. But she's right, Desmond. You don't read the local paper. It's not the kids' fault. It's the cuts. Don't tell me on this committee as well. Are you really Uncle Popeye? No, it's really Uncle Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> We are meeting the council this week. You two should be joining in, Desmond. You all should be lending your support to the action group. Oh, okay. I have lent you far too much as it is without lending you my support as well. <laughs> well, obviously, your committee isn't working very well. Otherwise, the kids wouldn't be still kicking down my shop window. Well, for a committee to be effective, it must have objectives, which are clearly communicated by an articulate advocate who commands the respect of both factions. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> It means we need someone to state our case in plain English. That counts Matthew out. <laughs> that counts all of you out. What you need is someone whose name is known to the community. Someone whose name is associated with uh, respect. Well, who's respected round there? Yeah. Well, there is someone whose name is big in Bellenden Road, for instance. Oh, I get it. And it also happens to be the name of a shop. Yes. And what's it called? Mr. Patel. No! <laughs> The baker. No! Kentucky Fried Chicken? No! No! Desmond? Yes! You're respected in the community? Yes! So you're gonna make the speech to the council? No! <laughs> Oi! This ain't too bad for one of Marcus tapes, is it? You have to shout! If it gets them clearing up their jumble, it's fine by me. You see, the place look like a pigsty. Well, it's your two little piglets. <laughs> <laughs> Reunited and it feels so good. Easy. Reunited cause we understood. There's one perfect thing and sugar. This one is it. We're <laughs> so excited cause we're reunited. Hey, hey. So that kind of shop window is broken. <laughs> this rubbish? That is reunited by Peaches and Herbs got to number 4 April 1979. Not that one, the one that's on now. Oh, you kids nowadays, if there's no rapping halfway through a record, you're lost. All right then, we'll all listen to it. Mother, why you had to call me over here for jumble, I'll never know. I mean, there's nothing I'd possibly want to keep. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael, I thought you had more than just this shoebox. Oh, great, I come all this way for an empty shoebox. <laughs> okay, mastermind, name that tune. Michael Ambrose, take Three. Michael Ambrose proudly presents. Uh, look, I think we've heard. Oh, it. No, 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 no. A Michael Ambrose production. Michael Ambrose is the let the let the la the lone ranger. Michael Ambrose. Ah, uh, you think Michael's in this? <laughs> and Dobbin as his ever faithful horse Silver. <laughs> Are you ready, Dobbin? Yes, Master! <laughs> <laughs> Episode 9, High Noon in Peckham. <laughs> I hear the sound of a damsel in distress. Help! Help! <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we've suffered enough, Michael. <laughs> well, Mike, only one thing to say to you, boy. Well, well said! <laughs> At least I used my imagination. Oh. You kids nowadays have so many toys, you don't use your minds. I had little, but I was happy with my lot. I had to entertain myself. Well, I'll say one thing, son. Don't give up the day job. <laughs> <laughs> and who was this Dobbin? 
Oh, Dobbin was a little toy horse on wheels we bought for Michael. Oh, toy horse on wheels. It was a Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> Horse. I had to laugh when I gave it to Lee for his car boot sale this morning. You did what? <laughs> you gave away Dobbin? That's typical of me. <laughs> Always flogging a dead horse. <laughs> Mother, I thought you of all people would have understood how important Dobbin was to me. He was my only true friend. But, Michael, a moment ago you say you didn't want to have anything kept. Yes, but I didn't mean for you to give away my childhood. Did I miss something? We are talking about a toy horse. Oh, you kids <laughs> think this is very amusing, don't you? But, Michael, I didn't think you would have wanted to keep it. It was virtually falling apart. It was not. It was in perfectly good order. It was mangy. Michael, I don't understand. That's been the problem for the last 30 years. No one's wanted to understand. I... <laughs> you know that over something called Dobbin, I Archer. <laughs> what are we going to do? We'll give him back his damn horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Lee would have sold it by now. Did we really give him such a rotten childhood? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I've got some good news that will please everybody. You're going to a nursing home? <laughs> if you don't shut up, you're the one that's going to need nursing. <laughs> well, fight get on with it. It's official. You're the people's choice to speak to the council to save the playground. You're still all about that again? I told you, I may not do it. Josh Desmond Pope, why, how you find this out? By conducting a poll. Oh, why, you couldn't conduct a bus. <laughs> <laughs> what question did you ask? I did it properly. I asked them, you think Desmond should speak to the council to save the playground, don't you? <laughs> and they all said yes. Uh... Oh, it's in a good cause, Desmond. It's for the children. Children? I've had it up to here with children. First, they break the shop window. Then Michael accuses you of being a bad parent? Me? A bad parent? Oh, or whatever. There's no whatever about it, Desmond. You know what your trouble is? You're too busy worrying about what you want rather than thinking about what other people need. Like speaking up for the playground, for instance. Hey, it is. Speech! 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 speech. speech. What I need speech. from all of you is peace and quiet. I don't want anyone trying to convince me to make this foolish speech. If I was to hear anything more about speeches or children of playgrounds for the rest of the day, I'll... I'll scream! Desmond, what's this me hear about you not making the speech for the children's playground? Ah! Here's one I called earlier. We, the community, make you what you are today. And all you do is tick, tick, tick. What you should be doing is putting something back out on the streets. Right. I'll start with you. <laughs> oh, you're not me! You make my heart stop. Promises, promises. Uh, forget it, man. We tried everything. We'll have to get someone else. Don't let your blood pressure rise. My blood pressure? The mother of the Lion. Oh, Lord, now I hear screeching in the ears. It looks like someone's up. You see? I bet one of them kids kick a ball through somebody's car window. You see what you do? I don't know how you could sleep at night. I don't know how you could sleep at nights with all this noise. Oh, let me take care of the poor little fella. Oh, blood, blood! <laughs> oh, the poor child could bleed to death if he had to wait for you. <laughs> oh, there, there. That's not too bad, is it? Don't cry now. So, um, what's your name, then? Michael. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you must have read it all down by now. Just a minute, just a minute. There's a lot to remember. Come on, Desmond. We've been waiting for half an hour. <laughs> just, just read us what you got. Mm. All right. <clears throat> the children need a playground because, one... Yeah? Well, that's as far as I've got. <laughs> uh, 
That's where you get this one from, Shirley. Oh. Desmond, you haven't taken in anything we've been saying. Well, I... Oh, come on, Mr Ambrose. It's easy. It's just common sense. You expect him to find that easy? <laughs> it's all well and good for you lot. You've had ages to think about it. You've been to the meetings, you've studied it in full, and you've made up your mind. That's why we've given you the benefit of what we've thought out so far. All you have to do is write down what we've been telling you. And then put that in your own words at the council meeting. Yeah, well, that's the bit I've been having trouble with. Oh. <laughs> OK, let's recap. I made the first point, which was that every child should have a safe place to play and explore, under proper supervision and away from the dangers of the street. Mm -hmm. So you put that in your own words. <laughs> Children should be kept off the streets because they're dangerous. <laughs> We'll come back to that one. Now, I made the second point, which was that children need to let off steam, play rowdy games, without the grown-ups telling them off all the time. Why? Why what? Well, why well, should they be rowdy and play around? I mean, why can't they be seen and not heard like we were when we were their age? You think you were like that? Hmm? Desmond, when you were a child growing up in Guyana, you can take yourself off into the fields, mm -hmm. play down by the stream, climb trees, throw stones. You had all that space. You could get out from under your mother's feet. Poor woman. <laughs> you could be gone for hours and she knew she didn't have to worry. She only had to worry when you come back. <laughs> Look, Dad, this is London. It was bad enough when me and Louise was little. It's even worse now. Yeah, most people round here haven't even got their own backyards. Mm -hmm. They live in flats, a lot of them in high-rise. Where can a mother send her kids where they will be safe and they won't be a nuisance? Ah, yes. Well, this all starts to make more sense now. So? In your own words? Uh, don't rush me. Don't rush me. <laughs> Is that the time? I have to get back to good cop but his red mullet. Well, can't get it himself? <laughs> you ever know a man to do anything for himself? Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, I mean, stop gossiping. <laughs> right, I got it. Ah. London is not like Guyana. <laughs> so to protect innocent shopkeepers' windows, <laughs> if children want to behave badly, they should be kept under strict supervision in caged areas. <laughs> in a report sent to Policy and Resources on the Five Subcommittee on December the 7th, 1989, the Bellenden Road Action Group highlighted the woefully inadequate resources of the... Dad? This is like one of Mr. Spencer's history lessons. Oh, thank you, Sean. Oh, I don't think Sean meant that as a compliment, Des. It's not what you say, Desmond. It's how you say it. Yes, Pops. Liven it up, man. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. <laughs> the council is meeting a respected businessman, Mr. D. Ambrose, not MC Desmond. <laughs> well, Desmond, the most famous orator in ancient Greece was called Demosthenes. He'd have to be a good orator just to pronounce his name. <laughs> And he used to practice with marbles in his mouth. I'm not putting marbles in my mouth. I've got it! <laughs> well, I hope you ain't catching. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, so is you been making the cop stoppers? No, it's not me. I've seen the kids do it. Anyway, it's for you. Here's the next best thing to marbles. You don't need a gobstopper, Des. You need a gobstarter. <laughs> of course, Rose. You are elected by the community <clears throat> to serve the community. He sat up Marlon Brando. Yeah, the gobfather. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Desmond. Forget Demosthenes and his marbles. Oh, I don't know. These marbles don't taste too bad. <laughs> and think of the great speakers of our time. Martin Luther King, Osaji Kwame Nkrumah, Frank Bruno. <laughs> I'm not a mean, Harry. Uh, I never mean the great speakers. He's got to get on with it. You've only got five minutes to put your point across. All right, all right. As councillors, you are elected by the community no, no, to... No, 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 Desmond. The art is in the pause. You must emphasize each phrase separately. All right, all right. As councillors, you are elected <laughs> by the community <laughs> to serve the community. <laughs> we, you're getting it. You, you've got to move your hands about. Yes, yeah, so like this, the Acorn Grove playground it needs investment, mm -hmm. refurbishment, and reopening. <laughs> I'm not a helicopter. You want me to take? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> 
Have you found Michael's toy horse? No, nah, but I found a person who bought it off me. Can? No can do, Shell. They wouldn't sell it unless I paid double the price. What? That's right, one pound. <laughs> so, why didn't you buy it? Michael thinks it's priceless. So do I. I wouldn't give anything for it. <laughs> and don't come back without it. All right, I got it. <clears throat> OK, Desmond, show us. And when you reach an important point, punch the air. And when you get to the meeting, punch the councillor. <laughs> Never in the annals of history has so much been owed by so many to so few. We shall fight them on the sandpits, <laughs> on the swings, and on the seesaws. We shall never oh, right. surrender. Oh, right. mm, the, the children need. Right there. Right. Yes, <laughs> All right, you had a bad dream. I was making this. I, I've lost my voice, surely. You sure? Of course, I, yes, I'm sure. I'm not surprised you've been practicing that speech all day and night. This speech is today. What are we gonna do? We'll have to cancel. Uh, we'll do no such thing. Give me those notes. Madam Chair, what we are talking about here today are human beings and their lives. Yes. Like you, I am a mother, and these are our children. If we don't take action, instead of comforting a hurt child, it won't be long before we're comforting a bereaved parent. Rebuild the playground now. <laughs> well done, Mother. I'm very pleased for you. And I appreciate you coming straight here to let me know personally, even if the council did only award you half the money. But did you have to bring Rent a Fan Club with you? <laughs> Oi, we're not Rent a Fan Club. We're the Acorn Grove Action Group. Yeah. We supported it when it needed us. It's for the children. Yes, yeah, Smargo, you were a kid once. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. You know what it's like. Don't you think today's kids have a right to play safely? Look, I understand all that, and I dare say you're right, but why are you telling me this? But we need a private donation to make up the rest of the money. Give us the rest of the money, no man. <laughs> Congratulations, Pogpa. You're a true diplomat. This is a bank, not a charity. But, Michael, you have the perfect credentials to be a sponsor. Yes, Michael, you're well known and respected in the community. And you are our little financial wizard. Tell me something I don't already know. <laughs> I find it ironic that you can devote so much time to those kids who are strangers, after all, and you didn't even care how your own flesh and blood felt. Don't be silly, Michael. Of course we cared. And still do. Father, I've noticed you've been rather quiet. Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Cat got him vice. He blast it. He's a little horse. And talking of a little horse, Michael, if we could get Dobbin back for you, would you give us the rest of the money? Three, four. Go ahead, make his day. Jump in! 